welcome back to another Tech Minds video. So in this video, we're going to be talking about taking your STR receiver portable. Whether you're on holiday, going hiking, or just visiting friends, you may want to search the airwaves away from home. So most STR receivers are quite small and pocket size, so that's not really an issue. But what about the hardware and software you're going to need to drive your SDR receiver while portable? Well, you could drag along your home computer with its monitor and keyboard, but this solution is rather impractical because it's rather heavy, it's difficult to transport, and you would need mains electricity. Now, obviously, there are cases where you could take a home computer, like to a holiday home, but if you're walking up the hills, then you don't really want to have this strapped to your back. Now, another solution, which is actually quite viable, is taking along a laptop. Now, laptops can be very powerful and small at the same time and will run all of the software that you'll need, especially if you want to start decoding some digital modes. Now, the next solution on my list would be a Windows tablet. Again, very portable and will be able to run nearly all of the software that you'll need, but it's still not really something you can quickly pull out of your bag or pocket and start using it to scan the airwaves using an SDR. So how about this? An Android tablet or even an Android smartphone, which you may already have in your pocket. Combine this with an OTG cable and an RTL SDR dongle, such as a Nualec or an RTL SDR V3, you'll have the smallest and most portable SDR receiving package in your pocket. Now I've tested a few different Android tablets and then I came across this Lenovo M8 which was released just a few months ago. Now the M8 has an octa-core processor which is even more capable of running SDR replications. So obviously this doesn't run Windows so we're going to be limited with the current available applications on the Android App Store. However, there are some really good paid and free versions of software which will get you started in no time. Let's take a look at a few different Android applications which will be compatible with your RTL SDR receiver or even your Hack RF1. Now the first I have here is RF Analyzer. Now this application started off as an analyzer with no demodulation, but luckily the developer has now added demodulators for AM, narrow FM, wide FM, lower sideband and upper sideband. Now running this on the Lenovo M8, it runs nice and smoothly. As well as being able to change the mode of demodulation, you can also record the IQ stream for playing back at a later time. Now, what's even better is that the RF Analyzer application is completely free to use without any time limit. So the next application we're going to take a look at is SDR Touch. Now, this is a very popular Android SDR application that's been around for some time and it comes as a demo version with a time limit on usage, unless you pay for the license key. Now the license key costs around $5.99, but in my opinion, it's well worth the expense, and $5.99 is a relatively small outlay for something that you're gonna use for a very long time. Now SDR Touch has more features such as adding DVB and CW demodulation into the supported modes, the recording feature also lets you record the actual audio, or you can opt to record the IQ stream of the currently set sample rate. As well as supporting RTL sticks and the Hack RF1, SDR Touch also supports a whole range of DVB sticks, and the list of these can be found on the Android App Store listing. Now, another cool application called AVAR ADSB is an Android application which lets you receive live aircraft and places them on a map. Now, obviously with any of these applications, you will need an antenna for the bands that you're wanting to receive on. So as mentioned before, you will just need an OTG cable which plugs into your Android device's USB port. The other end of that then plugs into your SDR receiver. Now the SDR receiver takes its power directly from the Android device. So you don't need to worry about any extra power connections. In this example, I'm using an RTL SDR V3 dongle. The antenna is my dual band collinear on the roof of my house and the software is SDR Touch. The Android device shown here is the Lenovo M8. And if you're interested in purchasing this device, then I'll leave a link in the description below. Now you may be asking yourself, why am I demonstrating this at home when this video is about taking it portable? Well, as you can probably tell, I live in the UK 
and the weather's absolutely atrocious outside today. So this video is being recorded at home. So as previously spoken about, the AVR ADSB software, which runs on the Android tablet, has the ability to receive aircraft transmissions and then plot them on the map. Now, strangely enough, I'm actually using just my dual band collinear, which is not even tuned for receiving ADSB. ADSB receives at 1090 megahertz or just above one gigs. And the antenna that I'm using is actually tuned. The top part of it is probably around 440 megahertz. But as you can see here, it's clearly working. It's receiving some aircraft and plotting them onto the map. And this is without any extra filters or LNAs. So you can see that this software works quite well. And I would imagine if I've got my dedicated ADS-B antenna connected, then I'm going to receive a whole lot more. So that was a screen recording of the RF analyzer software and you see it's quite similar to SDR Touch uh, minus a few features that SDR Touch has uniquely. But this software still works very well and the great thing is, is that it's free. So if you have an RTO SDR device and an Android device, go ahead and download it and give it a try yourself. Obviously you would only need an OTG cable and you will also need the RTL SDR driver, which it actually prompts and asks you for when you plug in your RTL device and the driver's free as well. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and until the next one, take care, stay safe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.